saw the team photo of Stanley Cup champions holding up the trophy. That was a really cool sight to see as well. Still a lot of black and gold out there. And uh, any other thoughts on Bruce Cassidy that uh, we had to kind of cut you off for a moment no. there? But There's a lot to like about what he brings to this team <laughs> and, and what he's gotten them to accomplish. Be it, I, I think there's a relentlessness to this squad. And I think there, there's different definitions and ways to look at that. Because for me, it's about the commitment to the system that he put in. And, and not always chasing the easy opportunity or the fun opportunity. Because as I mentioned, it's about staying integrated at home in front of your own net. The, the defenseman started playing so differently in the defensive zone for the Golden Knights under his tutelage. And it really helped out the goalie situation that we experienced all season long. And then throughout these playoffs where they're not chasing behind the net. They're staying in front so they can take bodies. They can move puck out and then the greater accountability for the forwards not to cheat out and look for that long stretch pass like be back here and let's take it zone by zone the the hard way the hockey way the simple hockey way and you gain confidence from that as a hockey player it's not just about scoring goals and making pretty passes you got to do the dirty work and that's what Cassidy champions well hey the team has proven resilient it wasn't the easiest path in the world you yeah. heard them talking about all the injuries all of the players were battling mm -hmm. and uh, it's an impressive team in that sense more as well by by flying under the radar but then you hear all the chatter about the Edmonton Oilers I mean they were even p picked as favorites against the Winnipeg Jets they thought Connor Hellebuck was going to stand on his head and they solved him pretty quickly but the Oilers were such an offensive juggernaut and you had that first game where Leon Dreisel had four goals but the Golden Knights still found a way to win and over the course of that series, they were able to dismantle and, and really find a way to suffocate, again, one of my words that I'm using a lot tonight, uh, one of the most prolific offenses we've seen in NHL history. And when you do that, again, it's about gaining confidence in your ability to take care of business at home before trying to go over to their house and, and cause a ruckus, which they've been able to do offensively all playoffs now. And here's a look at that dad juice you were talking there about. It is. <laughs> That's who they do oh, it for, right? So cute. Oh my goodness, you can see Marsh so there. Oh. Yeah, I mean, just adorable and classic memories that these guys will remember forever, these families will remember forever, as the, the rink is now starting to kind of filter out there. And we're going to toss it to a press conference happening now.